Hey guys, you're welcome to another edition of Spot Update here on Raymond TV. Of course, it's been a while we came on the show, but now we are here again. And you know how we do it on Spot Update. I give you the best of G-Star from the local and uh, the international scene. Uh, I'm sure some of you would be like, I'm not really excited. I'm not really carrying that enthusiasm today. It is for a reason that you would uh, find out later during the show. All right, without wasting much of your time, uh, I still remain Ogunle Yolua Peter, the number one jiggy jiggy of sports. Uh, you know how we do it. All right, let me take you through the g style for you today. Firstly, let me say congratulations uh, to the Nigerian uh, female basketball team for winning the 2023 Afro Basket Competition. And, uh, you know, this would be their fourth consecutive win in this competition. This is to tell you how good, how stable, how consistent this team her and uh, how much they really want to push uh, the flag of Nigeria in the female basketball world. Uh, and uh, aside from congratulating uh, the team as a whole, I think we really also need to congratulate our uh, coach Rena. This would be she's the first female coach to win the trophy. She's the first female coach to win the trophy. I could remember about a few months ago when she came on board as the head, uh, as a coach of this team. A lot of people came saying she's not she's not deserving of the position. She's not going to do anything for the team. But now, I think she has done something that can shut everybody who has anything against her. Once again, congratulations to the team. And we want to see more of them, not only in the continent, not only in Africa. We want to see them compete highly in the world of female basketball quickly away from that uh, we had uh, the value jet cup uh, uh, started i think on friday yes last week friday and a lot of teams came up we saw sporting lagos uh, we saw remo stars uh, we saw rivers united we saw sunshine stars we saw shooting stars i think sunshine stars dropped for beyond limits so beyond limits are uh, with the uh, right cards at the at the later end uh, of uh, the announcement uh, but the surprising part of this thing is that uh, beyond limit that came on later into the competition is now one of the most surprising performer in the competition now beyond limits have graduated they've, they've qualified uh, from their group stage to the next stage of the competition and a lot of people are just looking out to see what those guys would do uh you know you know one thing about beyond limit they are not playing like a team from the nnl they've not even played in the nnl before they just promoted uh, to the nll in this just concluded season and now they are competing with big teams from the mpfl great feat for those guys great feat for those guys and uh, one of the reasons why they've been performing as well as we've seen is because uh the exposure is there for them. Everything they need to perform at their best is there for them. And they cannot just wait to show out every of what they've gathered together from their coach. Coach Olumide is a very wonderful coach. Talking about Trevor Sport, he's a man that brings uh, his players up to task. Uh, congratulations to Beyond the Well, the competition is not over yet. We are just progressing to the next stage of the competition. And a lot of people want to see those guys play if possible come out victorious in the competition not to forget that last season Remo Stars came out as the champion of the maiden edition of Valley Jet Cup now we've we, uh, Remo Stars have also qualified to the next stage so we are seeing uh, like an impending game between Beyond the Meets and Remo Stars in the next game it's gonna be fire it's gonna be cracker it's gonna be something everybody in the world of local football would want to look out for all right uh, finally on this edition of Spot Update I am angry like really really angry i am not happy with uh, the results we saw from that uh, knockout game between nigeria uh women team and uh england uh women team it is disappointing really really disappointing the game ended in favor of the english team yes uh, they defeated us on penalty they defeated us on penalty and now the nigerian women uh football team are out of the 2023 fifa world cup and i don't know maybe the train will bring them back out tomorrow or whenever but one thing i can say for sure is that these girls these ladies they played their art out on the pitch of play talking about alozie talking about pain talking about our goalkeeper oshuala even though a lot of us expected more a lot of us expected more from her but you know the game is the game the game is the game they are out of the competition and one thing i love about the spirit of niger is that a lot of nigerians supported them from the beginning of the competition regarding the fact that they had issues with the nff uh issues with their coach random and a lot of things like that so we expected that their outing will not be too good but i tell you these ladies they tried 
they really tried they played their heart out and we are hoping that the next world cup uh they would come out as uh, stronger than they did in this competition congratulations to them because they tried i tell you they tried they tried to try, but we expected them to qualify not even with the fact that uh uh james her sister she got uh, a red card in that game and we're believing that this would be a turnaround for us and every of those things but we just could not find that goal we had uh, two shots at uh, the woodwork but nothing to show for it i know in the normal Japan, as you say you go just explain 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 tire no evidence we don't have evidence to show that yes uh, the game came handy but congratulations to this lady we really really hope that the future brings her uh, something good for them and our coach too congratulations to him they tried but we would have loved if they had progressed from this stage to the next level of the competition that is not bad that is not that is not something we can't talk about we just wish them the best of luck in their future endeavor so that is that about that uh, uh before i go so the arsenal fans will not come and finish me my dm yes uh, Arsenal defeated Manchester City yesterday in the community shade. Congratulations to Arsenal fans. Uh, it is a, it's a, it's a well-deserved victory. They needed uh, the victory uh, for their morale, for their enthusiasm as they go into the new season of the English Premier League. Congratulations to Ateta. Congratulations to every Arsenal fan. Uh, and I hope uh, this uh, uh, trophy will ginger them as much as as uh, they need it uh, too yes sir uh, this will be how far we can go on this edition of our uh, sports update uh, don't forget us don't forget to follow us on every of our social media platforms youtube facebook instagram and twitter at official remo tv and you can check us out on our website at www.remotv.com.ng i still remain Ogunleye Oluwakpelumi peter the number one jiggy of sports as you go into this new week Stay sharp, stay jiggy, and enjoy the best of sports. Bye for now.